Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, it's Mira. And I just realized as I went live that I've forgotten a couple of things that I wanted to have. So let's start your holiday makeup guide. It's Saturday. It is December the 9th. 2003. And I'm appearing in a couple of different formats right now. No one is live with me yet, but I have just started doing my Facebook parties in earnest. I've always done a little bit of Facebook party stuff in addition to my, uh, my in-person business. Okay, good. And I'm live in my Facebook group. Let's see if I'm live in my other groups. Um, my hostess right now is Carrie Smith, who is a customer and dear friend of mine. Thank you, Carrie, for hosting and suggesting holiday makeup so that I could do this video in a couple of different places. I know most of you, hello, good morning, um, will watch me after the fact, and that's totally fine. Make sure that you comment if you're watching live or if you're watching replay, make sure to comment for the Facebook party, the party giveaway, you will get some extra credit for being for watching the video. Make sure to comment to ask questions. The great thing about this format is that I will get the comments later and I can address your specific concerns and questions even after the fact. So what I am going to bring up, I need to open it up in StreamYard, is I have spent some time recently creating an entire uh, library of training stuff of beauty tutorials, because so many of you say, I've lived so many places, I've been in the business for 21 years, and I have so many people say, gosh, I wish you could come home with me and get ready with me every morning. Well, guess what? With this library, you can get ready with me. So the website, I'm starting to screen share right now. The website is miradunnick.com. It's also where my team gets their training information. So you go to the beauty tutorials page. And here are my most recent, most applicable things that are all listed here. And they have links to my YouTube channel, which is Mira Dunnick on YouTube. So let's see. Let's start out with, let's see what the screen is seeing. Okay. So I know that our hostess for today, Carrie, had asked me for some contouring, um, some contouring things. So let's see if I can find the right thing, but you can see, oh, tutorial contouring highlighting 101. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this, but this video that I made this summer, and it also has, and I use these over various platforms. It has everything that you'd want to know with the most up to the minute products. I think I am going to make sure I think before I move, I'm going to go through all of my great things that are still available and do some uh, and do some featuring of those products. Because as I'm looking through my limited edition bin, there's a lot of stuff to love. So I'm going to start out. I have three basic Christmas holiday looks that I'm going to talk to you about. And the very first one, I wonder if I can find the picture I want. How many of you guys are familiar with the movie? White Christmas with Bing Crosby and Danny Kay. You guys, have you guys seen it? Do you watch it every year? I sure do. So I was thinking about makeup techniques and trends. And the very first one that I thought of, I'm going to call it the White Christmas look. And it's very retro, kind of pinup girl. And it's modeled after the very final scene um, where everyone is at the inn in Vermont and they're all dressed like Santa's and Mrs. Claus's and both of the leading ladies and the names are escaping me right now. I went and looked this up, but I cannot find my notes on this. Uh, both of the leading ladies have this look where they're very like fresh and dewy and glowy, but they have red lips and they have really, they have, it's a very sculpted structured look. So it looks like no makeup but it's actually quite a bit of makeup. So that's what I'm starting out with today. I started out with um, foundation. I did contour and highlight in some basic places. And I'm gonna show you the products that go along with that on my Mary Kay website. And if you wanna follow along with 
what I'm doing. Um, I think it works best if you do it on a different device on a different device, but you can go and find the Mirror Me app either on my Mary Kay website or on your device and be able to um, to use that to virtually try on everything that we're going to do today. So let me get to this site and we're going to share. So first and foremost, foundation. Um, makeup, or a there's a lot of people, particularly in this part of the world, who don't love to wear face makeup. But I think in the wintertime, and particularly for getting dressed up, you really need it. It helps to even out the skin tone. It keeps um, stuff that's floating around in the air off of your skin and out of your pores. So the question is how to do it properly and what to choose. So we're going to go down here and we're going to go to the face area of my website. And we're going to, I'm going to show you where you can take the foundation quiz. So right here where it says find your true shade, you're going to click on here and it's going to take you through a quiz that will help you decide which shades you should sample. Now, this is probably, I would say it is about 79% accurate. So when you go on to my website and take this quiz, it's going to just give you shades for the liquid foundations, for the 3D liquid foundation, because that's what we have available to send as samples. The other thing you will get that I can pretty easily tell you because it only comes in five shades is our CC cream, which comes in very light, light to medium, medium to deep, deep, and very deep. So those are your choices. And that's a little bit easier for me to, to do for you. So whether you wear a little or a lot, foundation is really important in creating a more finished look and to reflect the image that you have in your head out to the world when you're dressed up and presenting yourself. I was just talking to a neighbor and a new friend and client yesterday about how I really don't wear a lot of makeup unless I'm going to be on camera or I'm, unless I'm going to be with people. But my regular, you know, what I do in my everyday life, particularly when we're out in Hawaii, is a lot different than what I'm presenting when I'm presenting in this kind of a setting for sure. So let's start out with the white Christmas look. Then the second look we're going to do, I'm going to show you some limited edition products that are still available that are in the fall holiday and winter catalogs that you've been going nuts for. And then we will, um, and then I'll wrap it on up. So the white Christmas look. Um, if anybody can think of those actresses' names, I will give you a prize. That would be great. Okay, so I've got my mirror here because this is different. This is backwards. Let's go to full screen view. All right, so I'm going to start out with my waterproof lip liner in red. The new Mary Kay waterproof eyeliners and lip liners are amazing. And if you're not really a lipstick girl, this is a great way. In fact, this has a little, um, it also has a tiny little shaper on the bottom. Let's see if I can get the cap off. I can't get the cap off, but these can be shaped up with your tiny little um shape around the bottom. So I'm going to just fill in my lips with this. This comes in a whole bunch of different shades and I love red so much. It also comes in a really fun hot pink color and it's had some limited availability. We've had some issues getting the little caps. So supply chain issues happen even when you manufacture your own products. All right, so we've got our red lip liner, and this is a pretty good wash of color. Now, I want you to remember that red is actually a neutral color. You may not have known this, but red is a neutral color. There is, and one of the things that we are getting ready to put on my website is a lipstick suggestion page, and it's developed mostly for my bridal clients, but it's to help everyone find a lipstick that will work for them, that will give them enough definition in the pictures so they show up. Um, so that you read that you read neutral, um, which is important because the cameras definitely catch something different. So the color that I'm wearing is, can I read this? Um, Rockstar Red from the Supreme Hydrating Lipstick line. 
And red is just about the undertone. Rosemary Clooney and, El and Vera Ellen, thank you. So this look right now is based on Rosemary Clooney because she is like my style icon. I realized recently watching White Christmas how influenced I was by her looks and by the things she wore as I was watching it again as an adult. So right now I have my foundation on and, and I went with a luminous shade because I want, because it's very on trend to have more of a dewy glow. So what I've put on so far is my foundation. I did some highlighter and some concealer under, or some under eye corrector and some concealer underneath. And then I'm going to go with, I've used my contour and my highlight. You can see that it's not in great shape, but I'm going to start with a brush and tools are super important in terms of getting the effect that you want. So let me just start with, there's two brushes. There's obviously a cheek brush and this one is really special. It has um, a divot where you can grip it. It has a high and a low side. We're gonna use the low side for the contouring. All right, I'm gonna need my mirror again because this is backwards. All right, so I'm just gonna show you where I put my contour. and. There is a chart available on my Mary Kay website and available, and we're going to make it available on miradonic.com on the beauty tutorial page that will show you where to place your contour and highlighter for your specific shape, um, face shape. But my best rule of thumb is you take the back of your brush and you roll it down and you find the hollow underneath your cheekbone and that's where you put your contour on your cheekbone. There's all kinds of ways that you can do it that's more advanced and I encourage you to go out. One of my favorite makeup artists is Juliana Mayfield who's a colleague of mine. She's also, um, her mom was a national sales director for many years, has just retired Gloria Mayfield Banks. And Juliana, even though she's a woman of color, so our skin tones are very different. I've been learning a lot about makeup application from her. So she's someone I would follow on YouTube who does Mary Kay products. The other one is Lori Hogg, who has been a Hollywood makeup artist for years. And she loves Mary Kay. She's a Mary Kay brand ambassador and does quite a bit. In fact, the tips that I've been using in my VIP group are from her. So I did a little bit of contour. Now, the next thing I'm putting on is I'm going to use my highlighter. And you can tell it's my favorite because I use it. It's broken. Um, but I did just a pop of it right here on the upper part of my cheekbones. And then we're going to work that over with the brush. And I used the short side of the brush for contour, middle of the brush for highlight. Now I'm going to use, I already put on my mascara and I did my eyebrows. And my favorite thing for eyebrows right now is this um, volumizing brow gel because it has this little tiny wand. And even if you're low vision, even if you're like, I can't hardly see anything without my glasses, it's really easy to get in there and pick up the little tiny hairs and fill in um, to fill in the color. And it's very touchable. It's very natural. Um, and it comes in about five different shades as well. I recommend blonde or dark blonde for 60% of the people, particularly if you had, if you have lighter hair, you always want to go one shade lighter than your roots, whatever your roots are that are showing for your eyebrows. Now, I know that the stronger brow is a trend right now. Um, having been someone who has had eyebrows forever, um, who's always had really thick eyebrows, I'm like, mm, girl, are you sure you want to do that? But you can definitely, you know, pick and choose, but I'm going classic here because that's the way my beauty looks kind of go um, because I'm Rosemary Clooney in my previous life. Okay. So now that I've talked all about that now, so for the white, for the white Christmas look, very sculpted, very natural, I'm going to just use these contour and highlighting colors for my eyeshadow color. And I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use two of my brushes. I forget what they're called. I'm going to use an eye smudger brush and I'm going to use an angle brush and you're gonna be able to see this and watch along. Okay, so we're gonna start with the eye smudger brush, which is the littler one in the corner with my highlight in, I believe, I can't remember if it's, if it's 
glazed or honey glow. I get the names confused, but it's one of those two products. It's a lighter one. Okay, so I'm just adding this. This color number one. This is a really easy travel look too because you can carry your highlight and contour in one of your reusable palettes. And that's something I like to have with me all the time. Um, I'm gonna show you the different palette sizes in a little bit. Remind me to come back to that if we don't get if I don't get there naturally. So you can see I did highlighter, just a little bit of peachy glow. And then I'm using my I'm using the angle brush with the contour color. And this is really this is the same color as hazelnut eyeshadow, which is an oldie but goodie from Mary Kay. And um, you can use your hazelnut eyeshadow in a pinch for that. You can see how nice that is. I mean, this is just this is just perfect. This is kind of my ideal. This is definitely my ideal look. So I feel very Rosemary Clooney. I don't know. I'm not going to put on eyeliner right now because I'm going to do a couple of other things with my eyeshadow and I don't want to move it again. But this look would be perfect with a little bit of black eyeliner um, or gray eyeliner. The sweater I'm wearing today, I'm wearing like a sweater uh, poncho situation um, in a soft gray color, which is very versatile. And okay, so this is look number one. This is White Christmas. Yay. Do you love this? Are you ready? Um, these are very, this, this is very easy. Um, red lips, uh, foundation color that matches, highlight and contour in neutral tones. So now we're gonna use our oil-free makeup remover and I'm gonna remove my, actually, I'm gonna keep my lips on for this one and we're gonna add, we're gonna go to liquid eye color. Now we have great liquid eye colors in our regular line. They're cutie patootie and they are, available year round, but I've got a couple of new friends that are available for the holidays. And you guys have seen me all, if you're on my social media, you've seen these guys all over the place. So we have sparkling, um, champagne and rosé and rosé all day, right? So what you could do for a little white Christmas plus, like a little bit of extra glitter is you can add one of these colors. And I think I'm gonna start with sparkling because this is the one I'm carrying around in my purse with me for my fast makeup look. Um, sparkling is, it looks a little bit more like green, white, very like old school crystalline. And let me see if I've got a brush that I wanna use with this. You can use your fingers or you can use your brush with your cream colors. We actually have a brush that is a cream color brush. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna just, so I've got my my white Christmas basic and I'm gonna pop just a little bit of this right here in the center and I'm gonna build. Now, what's great about this formula is it's a gel formula. So once it's on, it is on. I mean, I have gone to the chiropractor with this makeup look on and it did not even move. So you can see how that gives just a little bit more dimension and I can do it all over. I, in fact, that's how I have been wearing it is all over this eye area because I have deep set eyes. And so I always want to make the this part in here as light as possible so it'll come out towards you. Okay, great. So we love it. All right, so let's do a little white Christmas plus. And what's really fun about this product is... You can add a little bit on your cheekbone for a little bit of New Year's Eve glitter. And what's fun about this is, like I said, it's going to stay on. It's going to be appropriate. You can wear it on a cruise. You can wear it um, out if you're in. If you're going to be vacationing in warmer climes. Good morning, Jennifer. Thank you for doing the thing so I can see your name on StreamYard. <laughs> so this is my White Christmas Plus. This is great. And I love all of these colors. Like people have been asking me like, well, which one should I get? I'm like, honestly, if you can afford it, you should get all of them because these are great products. We had these type of colors or type of products, um, 2021 for a limited edition. And oh my gosh, they went so fast. You'd think in the pandemic years, you wouldn't sell as much eyeshadow. Oh, I did not find that to be true at all. So we have sparkling, we have rosé, 
we have champagne. So these are all great colors. And you can take a look, take a look at my recent social media and in my VIP group. Um, I just, if you want to search for um, liquid eyeshadow, you'll be able to find all of the different ideas that I have. And my girl, Stephanie is going to be updating miradunnick.com um, so that you can find more beauty tutorials available on that. Yeah. These gel colors can't say enough. All right. So now we're going to remove the lips. We're going to go to the 60th anniversary collection, which is still available. And it comes, one of the things that's available is this gorgeous bag. And it may say sold out on the website. I still have some, so never fear. The star of the show for this is this palette. Now, when I first saw this palette, I recently got my colors done. I've been working with a new stylist and I thought, oh, I don't know. These aren't in, they're not in my fire tones. They're not in my regular colors. I don't know if I'm going to love this. And I was pleasantly surprised on how this works. Now, what I'm going to start with, I keep putting it down and picking it up. I'm going to start with changing out my lips because I've had people ask me over and over again if we have chubby sticks, if we have lipstick pencils, and we do. We have these two limited edition lipstick pencils. One is bright and one is light, and I can't remember the names right off the top of my head, but I'm going to use the light one um, because one of the things that I have learned for myself is that I need to be wearing colors, a, a little bit more neutral colors, which those of you who know me well, you know that there's really nothing neutral about me. So, and that's just to help me appear more inviting so people can see my heart a little bit more. And it's been working. So I'm doing a little bit more of a, I pick out my lips. Now with these pencils, you don't have to wear a lip pencil. This can double as a lip pencil if you want, but I really do love me a lip liner. I mean, it's just a thing. I, I'm the girl. In fact, I can do it without a mirror. Are you ready? And I'm not even looking. Mm. Lined lips. Love it. <laughs> a little extra. Is there too much... Extra, extra whipped cream, extra topping, extra time, extra money. I don't, I don't think a little too extra even applies to us. We're just fabulous. Okay, so I've got my lippy pencil in this light, kind of peachy. Now, look what this does to my skin just with the Rosemary Clooney looking thing going on. I mean, it's brightening, brightening me up significantly. Now I'm going to do a really basic look with this. Now there are some videos that I have done and I need to re-edit and release them because some stuff got crazy at home about the time I was first putting this all together. So let's start with, um, we're going to start with the white color on here, which is called Pink Diamonds. Now the fun thing about this, and I don't know how well this is going to show, this has a little purpley in it. So it's like white plus, it's very much like the sparkling in this look, but you can see, you can see how it catches the light, kind of beautiful. So I'm going to do inner corner of my eye and a little bit on the top with this. And it's got a little bit of a pink undertone. What I like about this collection is it's not like pink, 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 pink. You know, there's this fun purple that I've always considered a Barbie purple, but it just reads, it, it, it's so right, it's so on brand. Um, okay, so I did white, white first. Now I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do because I've got on gray, so I'm feeling a little purple, but I'm thinking that these pink tones would be fun. So let me go, the next one I'm gonna use is Legacy Lilac, which is this purple one, and I think, I'm going to do it up here at the top. We're gonna to keep, we're gonna cover over where I did my high crease color. Now, one of the things I wanna bring your attention to is usually people are putting their crease color right in here. Because I have deep set eyes and they're a little bit hooded, I actually raise my crease color up above the natural crease and that helps to visually open my eyes. So that's a recommendation. I know that someone in Carrie's party had 
um, asked about makeup for hooded eyes. That's my suggestion. Check out my tutorials for sure, because I've got a lot of things that are geared towards that since that's my natural face shape. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is happening. This is happening all over my face right now. Um, I'm in love with just these two colors, but wait, there's more. So where is my angle brush? I feel like it would be amazing if I had someone who was like taking my things and handing them to me like I'm on television, but that would feel invasive a little too. My children are not old enough for this. That would be a mess, but I'm thinking about it. Okay, so I think the next one is going to be, I think we're going to go with all of them because I'm just feeling that today. All right, so I've got my, what is this called? Burgundy crown. Hello. Hello, mother. It's amazing. And I'm going to put it, so I already did a crease color. I'm going to use this as my accent color, and I'm going to kind of block out this entire area. Now I'm not going to go all the way across the eyelid with it. Um, I'm just going to create a little bit of depth and dimension. Gosh, this is so pretty. I will promise to take some pictures after I'm done and post them in the various groups that I'm uh, broadcasting to right now, because this is literally blowing my mind wide open. And I've still got my sparkling there in the middle. So that's a little, that's a fun little addition. You can use your regular Chroma Fusion um, colors with a gel liquid eye color and get a really nice extra effect. Okay, so let's go, what brush do I want to be using? Because that's not it. All right, we're going to go back to our regular eyeshadow brush. Now, it is important to clean them off because even though I cleaned mine this morning, look how dirty that was. Yeah. Okay, and... Final pop, we're going to use some of this pink, which is called Iconic Pink. Surprise, surprise. This is the same color as one of my favorite lipstick, which is Trademark Pink. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And it's going to blend into the dark. It's going to blend into the lilac. It's going to blend into the white. Now, when in doubt, blend it out. And if you're not sure what you're doing, you know, you can always ask. That's the beauty of all this technology is I am literally, um, I'm a message away and I love to talk to you. Now, I don't always love to talk to you before like 5 a.m., but if I'm up, I'm going to answer. I'm going to be like, hi, what are you doing right now? It's amazing. Okay. So here is all of this fabulousness. Now, what I forgot to bring in, what I realized as I was going live that I did not bring in was my translucent face powder. Um, I'm going to do a couple of quick little touches to finish off my look now that I have everything on. I'm going to add a little bit of blush. I have on contour and highlight, and I have a little bit of the sparkling over the top. What I think I'm going to pick to go with it, I've got all of the blushes in here, or all a bunch of blushes. I've got a couple of things I want to show you. So, um, oh, and then my regular compact. So this is called a Pro Palette. You can see how much stuff fits in here. It literally will fit every eyeshadow that we sell in our line in this collection. Um, the one that, that's $25, I think. And like our regular stuff, also we have the Perfect Palette. This mirror is huge. Look how big this is. Um, this is perfect for uh, tra traveling. And you can see what I have in here is cream to powder foundation, which is easiest for carrying around and touching up. And then I have a couple of liquid cheat colors. These are some of the things that are still available that were in the limited edition earlier in 2023. So I think I am going to do a little, I'm going to do a little video about that later on in December so that you guys can see all the awesome things that are still available and take advantage of end of the season sales for that. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to use my powder and I'm going to use press powder because that's what I've got in my compact to set everything. And this was in the little uh, holiday must-haves that I recently posted. I, I stole it from Mary Kay Philippines. Um, I love having getting all of the stuff from the internationals and seeing how they're using product because it's a totally different flavor than what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to use that to set everything. 
And that is going to take down shine. If you're an oily girl, of course, this is something that you're well versed in. Okay, now, I don't know, should I get it? Should I run out and go get a tra my translucent fa face powder so I can show you the other trick that I like to do for a little highlighting? Should I do that? Um, I use, used to have, oh, the mirror this week for fixing it recital makeup. Yes, it is. I mean, yeah. Okay, so let me do my blush. And then if somebody says, yes, I should go get my translucent powder, I'll run and do it. Okay, so blush, lots of tones, lots of choices. Um, I think because I'm wearing burgundy, I think I'm going to keep that trend going. And I'm going to choose my Desert Rose, which has been one of my favorites. It's kind of a dark, almost brown rose, which I mean, child of the 90s. This is my jam. Okay, so I did peach, peachy tones right here under, so lighter, brighter under the apple of your cheek. So because we're going to do a darker tone, I'm going to find, I'm going to hit right above my contour and I'm going to go up and into the hairline. Now, I also love that blush has made such a comeback. Um, I love blush. Don't well, tell everyone. I was going to say don't tell, but let me just tell you, show you really quick. One of the cream blush colors that's still available. Um, they have four shades. I think you saw three of them in my thing because I love this. So I've got that on my finger and I'm going to use, I'm going to try this on this side because it's kind of purpley. Okay. Now I put it on with the finger. You can do it with your fingers or with a sponge. You can also use these brushes. These brushes are fantastic and voila, blended. They're both beautiful no matter what side you have. So this is my this is my third and final look, which is 60th anniversary. I'm going to be painting. I'm going to go paint my nails in a little bit. I got naked nails so that I can rock the nail polish that comes with it. Now, um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about party specials. There's a whole bunch of product that I covered today. So for the people who are attending Carrie's party, I am going to make sure that I follow up with you and get your get to your questions. So if you're watching this as a replay, make sure to ask your questions either in the chat or to message me personally. And you can go to my website, my Mary Kay website and do, let's share some screens here. What screen are we sharing? You can go to my Mary Kay website, take the foundation quiz and also, um, what else was I going to tell you to, to do? You're going to, you can take the foundation quiz. This is where you can do your shopping for the party and you can do, oh, the virtual makeover. So you can do the mirror. You can get the mirror me app down here where it says Mary Kay apps, Mary Kay apps. And you, the Mary, there's a Mary Kay shopping app. I know there's a lot of apps. There's a skin analyzer app where you can find your ideal skincare routine. There's the Mirror Me app, which has, where you can basically use what's essentially a Snapchat filter to virtually try on makeup. And I've had several customers put this to the test with their regular makeup look. And it's about 60, it's about 79% accurate from what I have seen from the before and after pictures for that. So you can go there. Now, if you want to see all of, if you want to get ready with me every day, then you can go to miradunnick.com. Let's go to that one. And you can find all of my current, um, my current videos for tutorials. And we've got fall. We've got, uh, I've got some stuff that I put on for my elevate, for my embrace. Embrace your essence, people with my stylist. We've got our brush class basic makeup application. I think this is recorded. Uh, this is recorded from earlier in the fall, but if you want to take an entire makeup class, it is here and available. And um, I'm going to tell you, let me tell you really quick about the party specials because this is important. Now, these are the party specials that I am doing for that I do all the time for my regular in-person parties and that I am doing for my Facebook parties. Now, if you think it'd be really fun to host a Facebook party, um, I am booking them now for 
to start the last week of January and to, or no, no, to start the last week of December and for the lives to happen in January. So the way that that works is we create a group, you add people to the group. I start with some engagement posts and then we, and then over the course of about seven days, we do so, or seven to 10 days, we do engagement posts, a live video class, just like this. And then I um, will be, I do follow-ups. I do a drawing. Um, it's, it's kind of amazing. The other day, I think I was reaching out to like close to 50 women in like 11 different states all at the same time. Oh, she can't get StreamYard. Yeah, definitely. Bethany, you'll be able to watch this back. Um, you'll be able to watch this back. Don't worry. Um, girl, I got you. I got you. Okay, so let's go over what the, what the gifts are. Now, when you spend $40 or more, well, actually, first things first, right now, through the 12th, when you spend $25 or more, you can have your product shipped to you for free. And it will get to you in time for Christmas. And so even if you're local to me, if you want me to ship something to you or to a family member who you're gifting it to, girl, I got you. I'll do it. Now, when you spend $40 or more, you get to pick from whatever the seasonal mini product is. And I have options. If you don't like the one that's on there, just, to, just put a note on there that says, let me, uh, what else can I get? There's all kinds of things, including like a mini set and hand set oil-free eye makeup remover, replenish plus C. I can't even remember what's on there right now, but you can pick a free travel size product for a pro uh, for a purchase of $40 or more. So those are all, that's, that's an all the time special. It's free gift time all the time at Mary Kay. Now, when you spend 125 or more, you can also choose a free go size skincare kit. You can choose from the Miracle Set, both formulations. You can also choose um, a clear proof or a time-wise repair go kit. So, oh, hi, Bethany, you're here. Yay. Um, so those are something that you can add on. Now, this is not featured on my website. It's, it's something that I add on. So if you're shopping, especially if you're going to do a customer delivery service order, um, make sure to let me, you should choose fulfillment as other or pickup so that I can adjust your products, especially if you've got a coupon from the party or from, um, or some kind of credit from playing games, you want to let me adjust that total for you before we go through. Now, so that's what you get at 125. Now these all stack. Now, when you spend 150, you get one of these awesome travel roller bags. In fact, this is rolling around. Where is, where is the end of this? Okay. So this is amazing folds out. You can put everything in it. Pockets tear off. If you've been to a party in the last 20 years, you've probably seen them. Thing hangs. Um, you may end up, hey girl, um, you may end up with 16 of these and organize all the things in your bathroom this way because you can carry it. You can pack it. It goes in a weekend suitcase. Now, the very last thing, and I'm going to go run over to my product closet to grab one of these because when I've been doing the skincare parties, I've been using mine and it's back in my bathroom. Okay. Ready? Okay. When you spend 199, you get a free, free, free skin vigorate cleansing brush. Now, I don't know if you can see that on the back, but there's all kinds of graphics on the back. And if you look this up on my website, you can see that this is an amazing thing. It is a Sonic. Yes, Bethany. Yes, you get it for free. It's 75 bucks. Um, it's a free Sonic cleansing brush. And basically when you spend $199 with me, you get $125 worth of free stuff. What? Amazing. And you know, all of the stuff that's free, I mean, it's a great gift for someone or it's a gift from your kids to yourself or from your dog to you. Your dog would like to shop for you. So there's all kinds of good stuff that's available. Um, I have lots of good ideas for Christmas, depending on what your budget is. So if you don't know what to buy, you let me know what the budget is and where it needs to go. And I can take care of that for you. 
But um, also, oh yeah, back to these little bags are available to, to purchase when you buy the pieces from the 60th anniversary collection. I think I have 10 in stock. And these 60th anniversary collections, I know for sure I have three of these on hand and I cannot remember the price point. I think it's like 35 or 42. Somebody look it up on the website. Girl, I've got 21 years worth of shade colors prices and all the things in my head. So um, I am doing an in-person brush class at the end of December and the pre-order special, if you want to come to that and learn some more basic makeup application, maybe take your teen or your tween or somebody else who um, needs to learn the basics, I do a pre-order special where you can order your essential brush collection and your brush cleaner for half price. Now, if you can't make the time that I've got and you want to book one of your own, whether it's Facebook, whether it's in person, if we can do that, I would love that so much. Um, I brushes. Yeah, Bethany, girl, I'm going to message you after this. So I'd love to do that for you. So this is me. I'm ready to sign off today. But thanks for playing with me today. Make sure to comment and to like, to share, to go onto my website and get registered. Um, to watch my beauty tutorials, and to connect with me. I would love to help make this a beautiful 2024 for you. Okay. Love you.